Welcome to Extreme Skyblock, where there are many unique islands to explore, dimensions to visit, hidden loot to uncover, and a secret cult on the island. Mob spawns are increased in this map, so nighttime will be even more dangerous. Now sit back, and I hope you'll join me in this adventure of Extreme Skyblock. So day one started out just like every other let's play, we gotta get the wood, we gotta get the basic tools. I think we already know how it goes. Also today I'm gonna be trying out Sildur's Vibrant Shaders on this map. Usually I use BSL, so this should be a good change. Next I'm gonna work on breaking off this whole stone pillar thingy in the middle of my island. Yeah, I guess that pretty much wraps up day one. It was very traditional, just getting ores, a little base getting set up, and also tried spawn proofing as much of the island as I could with some torches. Nothing really interesting going on yet. And starting out day two, we got some mining going on and came across our first pieces of iron. Now you might have noticed that there are hearts down there that just aren't hardcore hearts. This is a pre-made map, so I couldn't change the mode, but we are just gonna pretend that I'm in hardcore. If I die, I'll be over. And also you can download and play this map yourself, so there'll be a link in the description. The version is 1.16.1, .1, so no 1.17 cool features. Now food will eventually be a problem, so I started out with farming some seeds from the grass, and I created a tiny little farm right here next to this pool of water. Now I hope this thing will provide us with enough food, but honestly it's pretty slow, so I'm not sure if this will last for us very long. Now from days 3 to 6, I started working on the layout of our house, but first I had to clear out this huge area that was like a big mound, and I need to flatten out some spots of our island. So basically, I'm just cleaning up parts of the island and making things flatter. I also spent most of these days just gathering a ton of wood and other materials for the base. Also, I just want to point out that in the shader pack, the reflections during the rain just look so cool on the ground. I really like that. The ground kind of looks a bit more wet, I guess? On day 7, I spent a bit more time mining, and I also found this cool cave over here. I made my way down into it and appeared there was some lava at the bottom with some redstone as well. There's a lot of coal in here too. I was also able to get an iron pickaxe and some leggings for basic protection. And this huge tree grew over here, I already know it's going to be a pain to cut down. On day 8, I got an iron bucket and filled it up with the lava here. So hopefully I can create a cobble generator and not mess it up like I usually do. And let me get this water thing and I think this should be okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. Created a cobble generator, an essential in all skyblock maps. Also, food is starting to become a problem. These apples ain't cutting it for me anymore. At least we got a lot of trees now, but I really need to make this farm bigger. I continued to mine some more, but I need to save this iron pick because iron is not a regenerating resource, so I only have limited amounts of it. Still mining, gotta get this red stone here. Trying to get as many ores as I can right now. Whoa, I do not want to fall down that hole. <laughs> Let me patch that up. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna spend these next couple of days just getting some more ores so I don't have to mine later on. I made my first couple of loaves of bread, eaten my first piece of nice food. That feels great. Mmm, yummy. Also, these boots are the last thing I need and now we got full iron armor. Let's go. Well, now that these trees are finally here, it's a great time to start chopping them. Grinding out some trees are just so exciting, right guys? I'm also gonna start mining some cobble from our cobble gen, because we're gonna need a lot for our house and also to bridge over to other islands as well. So it's a good idea to get an accumulation of cobblestone early on. Alright, so I've got this flat mound over here, but I've decided to take this whole thing down one more block. This took a while, but um, I guess that was fun. <laughs> And once I finally got that finished up, I started laying down kind of the foundations of our house that I was going to build. I wanted it to be relatively small, not too big because this island isn't that big either. I wanted it to look somewhat nice as well. I kind of put it on the edge of the island too. And I'm doing like that 5x5 five five strategy, I think. I hope I can get a bed soon because I hate being out here at nighttime. The problem is I haven't seen any mobs spawn on the island yet. I think it's just because I've been too close. Because I think it would be a certain distance away for the mobs to spawn. But yeah, we need spiders here, definitely. Good thing I have a ton of trees just ready on my access. I've been planting down a ton of saplings, so I've got a lot of wood for this project. I was constantly going back and forth, gathering materials and also building. During these couple of days, I also expanded our farm area, making like an extrusion from our island, so that we could have a more organized farming space to get bread a bit faster. 
All right, well, fast forward a little bit of time. Here's what we got on our house so far. I think it looks pretty calm and subtle with the stripped wood and then the glass panes as well as the glass blocks. Small issue though, glass is very limited on our island. We just have a tiny little splotch of sand next to our little pond. Also, I wanna travel over to that island over there. It has a cool looking abandoned village. It might have a bit of loot for us to go and take and it also might be the closest island to us, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna start getting ready for that. And later that day, I made some more details on the inside of our house. This is how we are going to be getting to the second floor. Let me make some ladders real quick here. So yeah, this house has started to come together. I really like this. I like this cool little second story right here. It's kind of a second story. Oh, come on, it's raining now. And next up, I started digging out the ground to add some flooring in because we don't want to be walking on dirt and also adding a little platform up there. Yeah, just going to fill up this whole area with some wood. Now, I think today is finally the day where we're going to start branching off to other islands. I know, it's exciting, right? We've been on this main island for like 19 days now it's time to start thinking about exploring other places so i'm gonna have some torches here and i was actually thinking about making this thing too wide but i think i'm gonna just make it one wide for now get over to the other island and then when we come back maybe we can make it too wide just to be more safe i went back to farm some more cobblestone and also get some more torches and look at this thing the increased mob spawns really do make a difference this island is filled with mobs right now at least there's spiders there which means you can probably make a bed soon yeah this thing is absolutely crazy right now those skeletons can probably shoot me off so i should like maybe at like a waterfall thing to make it a little bit more safer. I think I should probably return in the daytime. Honestly, our food source is actually doing pretty well right now. We've got a lot of wheat in here. This should be able to make us a couple more pieces of bread. We got nine. Yeah, the farm's coming together pretty nicely. Ooh, and we're almost here to the other island. Let's go. I'm just gonna quickly reinforce this really quick to make sure I don't fall off at all. All right, that's it. Now let's check out this island. So we've got some, uh, I see horses, I see sheep. That's pretty good. Also, it seems like there's a ravine down here. That's nice. We can explore that later. And most importantly, this house. And we've got a bed. That's the first thing we're gonna take. We need that thing desperately. And in the chest, we got potatoes. Potatoes, saplings, apples, uh, emeralds, that's about it. We can make a potato farm, but I think bread is a better food source, so I'm just gonna keep on using bread. Yeah, the ravine is pretty much the main attraction of the island, I think. There's not really else much on here. Whoa, I just saw this cool icicle looking island over there. We definitely gotta check that one out soon, man. Oh my gosh, a lot of bridge building is gonna be needed. Alright, time for some more mining. I'm just gonna check out the ravine that the island has and just get all of the iron and the coal that I can see. Wait a minute, I noticed this like black thing right on the side here. It's... I don't know what block this is. I'm gonna break it real quick. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a bl it's black con- why is there black concrete? It looks like there's a sign in there as well. What is this mysterious room? It's so dark. Uh, no, 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 no. That, I'm not sure what that is, but I'm just gonna leave it there because it doesn't look like it's too significant. That's a bit creepy. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna go back to mining. Alright, so during these next two days, I cleaned up a little bit of things and I continued mining around inside this island, but I think there might not be anything here. I've made many different separate tunnels in here. I'm walking back in one of them right now, and there just appears to be no ores anywhere. Maybe this island's main purpose was to just get you the bed and all that stuff, so I'm just probably wasting my time, honestly. At least I got a ton of cobblestone now. That's a great plus from this. Alright, let's head back. Ah, uh, it's a great morning. Look outside, it's beautiful out there. We got our iron smelting inside this furnace. And also, I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but I just moved everything back from uh, our outside setup inside. So everything is inside this mega double chest right here. It's looking pretty great, but I think now we gotta start trying out some other islands as well. Before we leave, actually, I'm gonna harvest our little wheat farm over here. Things are growing pretty nicely. Most of this stuff is fully grown, so we should have a lot of bread. And the next island that I actually ended up choosing was this cool spruce biome over here. We can get some access to some spruce wood, which if you guys don't watch my main hardcore series, you'll know that is my favorite wood to build with. So that definitely sparked my attention, but anyway, you can see right now that I'm making things double thick right now. I just spent a bunch of time thickening our paths so that there's a less chance of us falling off. We want to be safe here when we only got one life. Okay, so I'm back home right now, and I'm not quite sure how I forgot about this, but I need to make a shield because a lot of the skeletons on the island are causing me some trouble. I don't want to get knocked off, so this shield should save me sometimes. Let's go check this island out. So once I got on the island, there was a ton of skeletons and zombies and a couple spiders as well. And originally I thought I was going to be okay with this shield, but I quickly realized that the mobs were just, there were just too many. Some of the zombies were actually starting to gang up on me. Let me and at one point, I almost fell off my staircase. Die, 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 die. 
But at the end, I saw a couple of creepers coming my way and I knew that I could not do this. I needed a bow. So I began running away. I had to abort the mission. Too many mobs. We gotta leave. Luckily, I was actually able to get exactly enough string for a bow from those spiders that I killed. But I forgot one crucial detail. Where am I gonna get arrows from? We have one feather. We have enough sticks, but we have no gravel at all. Like, what was I thinking? We don't have any arrows. How am I gonna use this bow? So I spent this day cutting down trees, mining a bit into the side of this island, and also came across a creeper that blew up behind me and uh, it didn't even damage me though luckily. I literally never saw it, it was like invisible, that was kind of crazy. So um, I know you guys can hear that, am I, am I ears broken or am I hearing like a billion mobs down here? This is absolute. oh whoa, whoa, that looks dangerous. It sounds like there's like a billion mobs down here. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to loot this cave? This is gonna be one tough area to conquer. Come on, just kill these zombies right here. We should be okay. I gotta light up as much of this area as I possibly can. Oh, oh my, what is that? What is that down there, bro? The increased mob spawns are definitely a little glitched or bugged. Oh, whoa, that explosion, I think that might have helped. That actually helped. That killed like most of them there. That's crazy. Wait, maybe I can actually exploit these creeper explosions to kind of help me out instead of killing all these guys by hand. This is great, bro. Let's go. Yes, sir. Again, another explosion. This place should be safe now. Just one more creeper I gotta kill, actually. There we go. Yes, sir. Look at all this stuff, man. We got arrows everywhere. We got a ton of XP. I gotta stay looking down or else these Endermans are gonna kill me. But there's still a ton of mobs. You can still hear them. And the rest of the time, I basically just spent mining up some more iron. Of course, with the huge rat racket going on in the background. You guys will not believe this. Forget all the loud racket going on, but we found a mound of gravel, which means all we need now is to just to figure out how to get some feathers, and then we can make a bunch of arrows, which is gonna be super helpful because the sword is kinda dangerous with all these creepers and stuff on the island. And after that, I had to get some more pickaxes and just did a bit more mining. Mining, mining, mining. It's been a while of just me mining. I think I'm ready to be done with this. So after that extensive mining session, I returned home and I was able to make a brand new bow from the bows that I got from those skeletons and also upgraded some of my tools. And it's also harvesting season. On that abandoned village island, there were some sheep, so I just bred them real quick. I might as well just do it since I got a ton of wheat. Okay, so next destination is that little snowy biome over there. I want to go over there because it's going to reach us closer to that really cool icicle peak island, which is what I want to get to eventually. The island was honestly not that interesting. The only thing that was different from this one from the last was probably just that little ice pond but other than that it was pretty much the same it had those same spruce wood trees i mined a bit as well into the island to see if there was going to be anything going on inside but i didn't really find much so enough of that island i want to move on already and get over to this cool looking icicle one now this is also a time when i really wished i could have my elytra because walking through these paths every day or every night not really during the day to go to bed and like put some stuff back it just it takes a really long time also i thought i'd share this but i got my very first bow kill on the skeleton right here i should get some cool points for that bro i jumped and shot him in the air dude Anyway, let's see if there's gonna be anything in this island. I honestly don't think there is. So when I thought all hope was lost, I started hearing a lot of mobs. And this was about the same experience I had last time in a different cave. You can just hear this, bro. So I gathered this lapis that I saw right next to me and I started mining toward the sound source. I was getting really nervous that it was just gonna pop out at me. And there it is, there's the cave. And yeah, like again, there, there's a ton of mobs. I was initially kind of scared, but then I realized I can use that creeper technique again where I just have the creeper blow up and kill like basically everyone. Yes, sir. And also if I block with the shield, it doesn't really do much much damage to me. So this is a pretty good method. Oh no, I think a chest exploded, but yeah, it looks like there's a dungeon right here with a skeleton spawner, I believe, because these guys keep on spawning in. Oh, a lot of XP. Oh shoot, oh shoot, uh, my health, I'm getting, I'm getting kind of low. Alright, we good, we good. Let's check out what kind of loot we got here. So that other chest had a silk touch book in it. Okay, okay. Now what's this one? Oh, sharpness three. Sharpness 3 and Silk Touch, that, that's pretty good. Along with some wheat, some rotten flesh, redstone, iron, just the usual kind of dungeon items. And those explosions also revealed some ores, so might as well mine those up too. Back at home base, I had to increase our storage capacity and also smelted our iron, but I'm kind of getting a little concerned because we haven't found any diamonds yet. I'm not sure exactly how hard those are to find, but diamonds would be pretty nice. Well now, I think it's probably time to start working on our house a bit more and uh, also patching up that like stony middle area. It doesn't really look too nice, but our house definitely needs some more work, so I'm going to get straight to that. So since we had a lot of stone from going mining all the time, I used that for our roof instead of just normal wood. I figured we had more of it, so might as well put this into some better use than just making bridges. 
Hmm, I think this looks all right. It's a bit flat, but you know what? I'll, I'll just keep it. It's whatever. Day 39, day 40, day 41, and day 42 was how long I spent perfecting the house to my liking. Maybe if we're in this world for a really long time, we'll probably have to upgrade out of this house at one point, but this thing is really cool for now. It'll probably do us well for the first 100 days. Hi, right, house tour time, baby. Look at this thing. Here is the front of the house. Nice and quaint. Pretty simple looking. Oh, that's a creeper over there. What is he doing in my woods area? And this tree just grew my face. Okay, then. Oh, whoa, he's right there. Run, run. Oh, whoa, that was a close call. Anyway, let's do a little 360 view of the house. You can see the side over here. The back looks pretty similar to the front. And then over here, it's, yeah, about the same thing. On the inside upstairs, it's still blank. We've got some nice torches up here. And yeah, that's about it for the house. Also, where's our iron net? I'm gonna take this iron net. I think I'm gonna make an anvil right now. Because once we get like some diamonds or something, we'll be able to use our enchanted books, like that silk touch and that sharpness. So hopefully we can find some diamonds pretty soon. Dang, that reflection on that anvil, I think you guys can see that, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we shall now continue on exploring stuff. So I remembered on this island over here, this cave down here is not fully yet explored. I think I stopped because the mobs were getting a bit too much. I am pretty confident myself, so I'm gonna try to give this another shot. There's still a bunch of ores laying around too. And as I ventured down further, I discovered a little hole which appeared to be a mine shaft. There were a ton of mobs around here, so I had to be careful. But sticking with the usual let the creeper kill itself plan worked out great. Both of those creepers simultaneously combusted, and basically everyone was dead, so thank you guys for uh, helping me out. Anyway, after killing some more of these mobs and lighting the place up, this first chest wasn't all too great, just a golden apple. After making my way through some of these poisonous cave spiders, I came across my second chest, which actually contained a diamond, finally! That is our first one, which means we got the advancement diamonds. After getting everything that I thought I could have gotten from that cave back there, I started heading home. Back at home, I kind of cozied up and upgraded our space a little bit. I'm gonna add another chest here, and I also have double furnaces too. I'm gonna try to do my best to do a little bit of sorting today. And this is kind of what I came up with, pretty simple. I got a trash chest here, another random trash chest there. Up here, we got our building blocks and materials. And down here is our goodies chest, hidden underneath those staircase thingies, kinda. Now we also have a ton of levels, and I really want to get an enchantment table, but we need two diamonds for that, so I think it's time to go hunt to a different island. This village over here is really catching my eye. Also, if there are villagers on that island, then we should be able to take advantage of them and use them for trading, which will also help us on our journey with eventually killing the Ender Dragon. Now, once I finally got onto the village island, there were some nice surprises. There were animals, some had animal pens, we had villagers, of course, but they did not seem to have a job, so that's gonna be good. We should be able to use these guys. I did hear zombies down below me though, which was a bit worrying, but that's also good because hopefully there's some loot down there. However, making a long story short, I didn't find anything of value down there other than just some coal and some iron. We're gonna have to go check out some other islands, but this place is definitely great because of the villagers. I somehow also managed to forget about looting the houses. This is what I got, nothing too important to just some emeralds basically. But I noticed a small crack in the hole next to this crafting table here. You can kind of see it, it looked, a it looked a little bit suspicious. And when I broke off the crafting table, my suspicions were correct, it looks like there was some sort of hole down there. What are these guys hiding, bro? Yo, villager, what are, what are you hiding in your basement, dude? As I went down into this area, it seemed like a dungeon kind of, there was a villager that was held captive down here, who would do such a thing? And a book on a lectern that just read, we are doomed. And I don't think there is anything else, uh, I picked it up, but yeah, it just says we are doomed on it. That's a bit unnerving. I have a lot of questions. So I spent the next couple of days bridging over and exploring some new other islands. These weren't all that interesting. For example, this witch one, uh, I thought there was something else going on, but it's just a classic witch hut. I also mined some more and even came across some diamonds just mining on the ground looking for caves. I didn't even think that I could find diamonds just in the natural ground, but I guess you can. There was only three diamonds here, but that's still great. We can now make an enchanting table. Another island I also visited was this cool dark oak one. While I was there, I basically just got some of the wood and also fought some mobs. These days were kind of boring, I didn't really find anything. But I guess not every day can be super exciting. Just did some basic exploring. And of course, harvested my farm as well. This food supply is actually amazing now. Ladies and gentlemen, day 50. We are officially halfway there. Now to make an enchantment table, I need obsidian, and at this moment, the realization came right at me that I needed a diamond pickaxe 
to break the obsidian, Bruh. which means that if I used three diamonds for a pickaxe, I wouldn't have enough left over to make the enchantment table. So my whole plan just fell apart in front of my eyes, I'm gonna need to find some more diamonds. But first I still came back and made myself a diamond pickaxe, so I could mine up some pieces of obsidian. I ended up going home with just 12 pieces, and when I was here I realized that I think I'm gonna need a bit more, if I want to make the portal as well as the enchantment table. And now that is going to be it for this week's video. Next week, I'm going to have the full version out as soon as possible. I'm working on this thing all the time. So don't worry, it'll come out soon. Now I want to thank all of you guys for watching it to the very end. And if you're new here and you like my content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It'll really help me out a lot. And as always, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you guys next time.